Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're showing you guys how to use widgets on Windows 11 to help you stay a little bit more organized. You can use this feature on Windows to integrate several features such as calendar or to-do lists, and it can help you stay organized during your workflow. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put the links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so we're on my Windows 11 desktop. There are a few ways we can access the widgets. So in my layout settings currently, which is also the default, I have widgets on the left side of the taskbar here. So we can click that to pull it up. Alternatively, we can hit Windows key with W. Now, I haven't really had a chance to rearrange my widgets, and I'm going to take this video as an opportunity to do that. So I'm going to reorganize and restructure these widgets in a way that makes sense for me, and then I will integrate everything that I can integrate. I'm going to start with removing the widgets that I don't want. The first thing I want to do is I don't want to see the news. This is going to be distracting for me during my workday, so I don't want it. I'll right click here on the taskbar. And I'll click into the settings here at the top right. I'll click underneath show or hide feeds. I'll go ahead and turn the feed off again. And now if I go back into widgets, I will only see widgets. Okay, so that's the first big change that I wanted to make. Next up, I will remove the games widget. I don't want this widget here at all. I don't need to be tempted by games during the workday. And I think I'm okay with the traffic incidents. I'll remove MLB here. So I'll get rid of that. Again, I'm just hitting hide this widget. I'll leave weather, markets, traffic, and photos. And I'm also going to add some additional widgets. So I'll click the plus button. And the first thing I'm going to add is a focus session. So I'll go ahead and pin that. The next thing I want to add is the iPhone link. This is a feature I use a lot. And so I can directly pull it up or maybe get to it a little bit faster by adding it to my widget screen here. And it'll also allow me to view recent notifications. In addition to that, I'm going to add to do. I'll go ahead and pin that. And then at the bottom here, I can see find more widgets. Let's click that and see what we can find. Here in the Microsoft Store, I have a few widgets available if I wanted to choose one of these. The one that I actually wanted to add from here was the hard disk widget. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and add it to my widgets. Okay, so that one is currently downloading. Let's see if there's anything else I want to add. I'll do the Outlook calendar. This is going to be nice that I know what I have coming up in the calendar. Okay, I'm still waiting for that widget to download, but at this point, I'm pretty content with these widgets. The last change I want to make is I'm just going to reorganize these in terms of what takes priority. So I want to move focus section down. I'm just going to click on it. All I have to do is where this little hand pops up here, I'll click and drag until it's beneath this widget here. So I'll move these around and I think I'm actually fine with this layout. Now, if I want to add a task to my to-do list, I can do that right here. So I've added a task here that I know I need to get to today. And anytime I want to pull up that to-do list, I just simply go to my widgets and it'll be there. And I could check that as complete and I could interact with all of the other widgets here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.